How's it going guys? My name is Dom and today I want to talk about the node.appendChild method in the JavaScript document object model. So, appendChild allows you to append a child element or a child node to a parent node or parent element. So for example, let's say here we have an unordered list with an ID of my list. And this list here has a single list item. We can say the list item is apple. Okay. So now here we have a structure here and we have the parent elements of this list item. And this list item is the child element. So we have child and then parent. Now using JavaScript, we're going to append another one of these onto this unordered list element using the append child method. So inside here, the JavaScript, we need to first get a reference to this parent element. So we'll say const my list equals document dot get element by ID and then my list. So this right here, it gets a reference to this element right there. So we'll say parent elements, just to uh, clear that up. So now we need to create one of these. We can do this using the uh, document.createElement method. So we'll say this, new list item, like that. Oh, let's get rid of this. Okay, so we'll say let's new list item equals document dot create elements we want to make a list item element so ally so now we need to add the text to this list element so we can say new list item dot text content equals let's say uh, banana okay so now with these two lines of code here, we have this. We have a brand new fresh list element, um, sorry, list item element ready to add to this unordered list parent element. So we're going to use append child down here. And we're going to say my list dot append child and pass in this new list item. So now this call right here will essentially just do this. I'm going to grab this and put it down there. So now if we save this, go in the browser, refresh, we see apple and no banana. Why is that? Let's find out. Cannot read a pen child of null. Okay. We forgot to put an uppercase L inside here. Now we've got my list, all uppercase, all nice. Let's save this and try again. Refresh. This time we get banana. As you can see, we've created a new list item and appended it to the already existing unordered list parent element. Now as a bonus example, I'm going to convert an array of fruit into an unordered list and just append all those fruit um, names to this list element. So to this unordered list element. So we'll keep this, we'll get rid of all this stuff, and we're going to define a new variable called fruit list equal to an array of fruit. We'll say banana orange uh, is mango a fruit hopefully mango and what else is a fruit probably um, lemon there we are so we have four new fruits ready to append to this list so we can just say four let fruit lists of sorry let's fruits of fruit lists so for each for each fruit in this fruit list, we'll do this. We'll say let's new list item 
So, let's, so we'll do the same thing here. So new this item equals document dot create elements. We're gonna make a ally element right there. Right, we're gonna say uh, my so new list item dot text content equals fruit. So fruit is gonna be one of these as we uh, loop through it. Once that's done and set, we can now append this new list element to the my list parent element. So we'll say my list dot append child and pass in new list item. So now we should see a list of fruit with all of these in the normal unordered list format. We'll save this, go in the browser, refresh, and we see all the fruit printed out in a nice uh, unordered list. And that is how you can make use of the node.appendChild method in the JavaScript document object model. Thank you for watching, and I'll see you later.